Logo standing by. Let's lose legal. And go Logo. Standing by for start of game. Okay, we're set. The young man lit his shirt on fire before he could make his getaway with the donuts. And you can put on weight and make it stale. I gained 50 pounds in two weeks. I'd be a large Well, you know how 30 seconds to air. Hey there, Donnie is my monocle. How many players are? Wonder Bart. Now, player one, go ahead and tell me your name. Player two, same thing. Okay, now here's what's going to happen, Stan. You will see a question. When you know the answer in serpitude, select the boutonniere next to it. Player 1, that would be 1, 2, 3, or 4 for you, and 7, 8, 9, or 0 for player 2. There is a timer that's tick tockling away. That means the sooner you are to buzz in, the more De Niro you'll make. Or surrender. And Cookie, your master of solemnity, will be handing out some screws. Use the screw if you see the other player with a bland expression on their face like they don't know the answer. To do so, player 1 will press the Q key and player 2 will impress P. And they'll have a mere 5 seconds to answer the question. Okay, okay, let's cut to the taste! Today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Mr. Cow's Presidential Grilled Cheese Sandwiches. These sandwiches were elected by the people to serve your taste buds. And right this way. First on the docket, playing doctor with Snow White. If Disney's doc were actually a practicing doc, and not some oddly harmonious diamond miner, which of the following dwarfs would he most likely diagnose with aphasia? Bashful, grumpy, dopey, or sneezy? Player two, you're screwed! You got five seconds to choose! Uh, uh, uh. Wrong. Player one, that was a successful screw. Grab a few more bucks, why don't you? Player one, watch the clock. Player one. Aphasia refers to the inability to speak, usually due to a disease or injury of the brain. The dwarf Dopey is the only one of the seven who never utters a word. Hi -ho. And on its way, Scooper Duper! You know, if there were a way I could get the latest scoop on Brangelina directly inserted into my veins through some sort of celebrity news IV, I'd do it. I would do it. Call me crazy, but I'd do it. If I decide to fashion a big dipper of star magazines in order to get the biggest celebrity scoop possible, get it? Big dipper? Scoop? <laughs> okay. How many star magazines will I need to best approximate the real Big Dipper? Six star magazines, seven star magazines, eight star magazines, or nine star magazines? Player one, pick it up. Player two. The Big Dipper constellation is made up of seven stars, so I'd need seven star magazines to create my celebrity news scooper. I could also spread all seven magazines out on the floor for my cats. Maybe the bright colors of Kim Kardashian will attract them and give them a new place to poop other than my carpet. Player one. Nine! <laughs> Say hello to Dollhouse of Horror, and it's a dis or dop! Player two, your score is the worst, so you're gonna play this bad boy. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's the name of an American girl doll, or one of Charles Manson's murderous Manson girls. If it's an American girl, 
Press the seven key. If it's a Manson girl, press the number eight. Yeah, or we could just get started. Felicity Merriman. Susan Atkins. Laney Holland. Patricia Krenwinkel. Kit Kittredge. Addie Walker. Leslie Van Houten. Why do you hate America? Why? You know, if Charles Manson had ever had the opportunity to hold an American Girl doll, I'm pretty sure he would have turned out a lot different. I have a complex about complexes. Suppose Stewie Griffin develops an Oedipus complex and acts it out on an episode of Family Guy. What would happen? Stewie would kill Lois and eat her. Stewie would sacrifice Brian to please Zeus. Stewie would kill Peter and marry Lois. Or Stewie would fly towards the sun wearing wax wings. Player one. Oedipus unknowingly killed his father and married his mother. Freud later used that story to talk about boys competing with their fathers for maternal attention. Oh man, then Chris would say something dumb, and then Meg would say something depressing, and that talking dog would talk and drink a martini. Yeah, that'd be a great episode. Where's the bomb girl? Rock my world girl. Ooh, yeah. Why not try? Better ungulate than never. Alabama, Pennsylvania, California, California, Maine, Louisiana, Virginia, Georgia, New York, or Georgia, Massachusetts, Illinois. Neither of you even wanted to try to answer? Shameful. You should have guessed this. The abbreviations for these three states spell alpaca, which is an animal similar to a llama. And like alpacas, people from Alabama, Pennsylvania, and California spit, don't like being grabbed, and make a wark noise when they're excited. That's round one. And player two is out in front, but just barely. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And remember, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Okay, let's do this. Coming up next, Antonio Banderas' sexy sauce-making machine. Suppose Zoro wants to make some orzo using his sword. Which TV infomercial product could help make the proper ingredients for Zoro's orzo? Jack Lane's. Player one, you're getting screwed. You've got five seconds to get it right. Orzo is a rice-shaped pasta. So he can make some pasta, then slice it into tiny bits of orzo with his sword. I don't know, though. Last time I let Zoro cook for me, I pulled out a giant curly Z from my paella. Player two, this screw does not have a happy ending. Question seven. Take a stab at pandas role-playing on the internet. It's the put the choices into order and buzz in and see if you are right. Get your head in the game, cause I'm gonna add an extra $1,000 for a correct answer here. Place these things in chronological order of when they were first established. World Wildlife Fund, World of Warcraft, World Wide Web, Walt Disney World. WWF, WDW, WWW, WOW, WDW, WWF, WWW, WOW, WWF, WWW, WDW, WOW, or players one and two. The world was founded in 1961, Walt Disney World opened in 1971, the World Wide Web started in 1991, and World of Warcraft came along in 2004.
I'm going to slap an extra $1,000 on each of you for that. (laughs) This answer would also be true if the WWF stood for World Wrestling Federation, because that started in 1952, just a few years after the aliens landed at Roswell. Coincidence? I don't think so. Walking chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. How about Mother Nature Got Back? Suppose Sir Mix-a-Lot attempts a comeback by writing a song for the Utah Tourism Board called I Like Big Buttes. Which lyric would be inaccurate? I like them firm and gradually growing, and I'm down to get the erosion on. I want them real steep with a flat top, or shake that healthy isolated butte. Player one. Buttes are steep hills with flat tops that are shaped by erosion, but they develop abruptly, not gradually. I'll never forget the day he got knighted and officially became Sir Mix-a-Lot, and he called the Queen of England her thickness. Player 2? Yes, erosion, just like your lousy guessing skills keep eating away at your prize money. Here's a good one. My Jedi is smarter than your Jedi. Suppose Albert Einstein had been in charge of teaching Luke Skywalker. Which of these quotes would not be based on one of the four fundamental forces of nature? May the quantum force be with you? Use the gravitational force, Luke. The electromagnetic force is strong with this one. Or the strong nuclear force will be with you always. Player two. Player one. The nuclear option is never the right answer. I so wanted you to pick this one. Quantum's a big fancy word, yes, but quantum force is not one of the four fundamental forces of nature. Those are gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. And as we speak, physicists around the globe are still working hard to pinpoint exactly what George Lucas was on when he came up with Jar Jar Binks. Help me, never let me go. And my Pucker up for bridging the language gap. Suppose New York bought the Brooklyn Bridge from an Ikea store. Based on how it was assembled, what would the product name most likely be? The Arch Flugan, the Suspension Stad, the Beamerid, or the Truss Clippin? Player two. The Brooklyn Bridge is a suspension bridge. And we know that the bridge wasn't constructed from an IKEA set. There weren't any inexplicable rivets left over. Player one. Sometimes it's not a good idea to do it yourself. <laughs> Step right up to the. J- Ah, I see you don't need me for anything. It's all yours. That thing shouldn't be flying. Now if you'll excuse me, my flying pig is waiting. Good luck.
Excuse me, Player 2, did you say something? No, I didn't think so. Because after somebody kicked your butt like Player 1 just did, there's only one thing to say. You don't know Jack! Good job, everyone. Donnie, what are we doing? Now, are you folks entertaining the idea of continuation? Next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special, it's visual comedian Rich Coolidge. You ever walk into a restaurant and the waiter looks at you like this? And you go like this? <laughs> I told my mom I was single and she handed me this. Look at it! <laughs> if I ever own a poster shop, this is what I'm going to sell. Hoochie Mama! <laughs> That's next time on the Laugh Factory Radio Stand-Up Special.